Good morning. Anyone wishing and participating in saying a decade of the rosary, please remember to come forward to the kneeler. Please join in praying the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, where he is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For an increase of hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For an increase of charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and now, and now, and now, and now, and now, and now, and The five glorious mysteries, the first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save us from the fires of hell. hell. And lead, lead all souls to heaven, heaven especially, especially those in the most in need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, <coughs> sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed death. Amen. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with us. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with us. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with us. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins, save us from the fires of hell. The all, all souls, souls to heaven, especially, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that while meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. 
Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee we come, before thee we stand, simple and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and deceased Holy Father, Pope Benedict, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, Have mercy. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Pray for us. Our Lady of the Rosary, Pray for us. Our Lady of Fatima, Pray for us. Our Lady Queen of Peace, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Padre Pio. Pray Saints Jacinta and Francisco, Pray for us. Venerable Sister Lucia, Pray for us. Saint Pope John Paul II, Pray for us. all God's angels and saints, Pray for us. may the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, to the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. We'll now pray the Fatima prayers. We pray the pardon prayer three times. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Angel's Prayer. O Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore Thee profoundly. I offer Thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he is offended. By the infinite merits of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. Eucharistic Prayer. Most Holy Trinity, I adore thee. My God, my God, I love thee in the most blessed sacrament. Sacrifice Prayer. O oh my Jesus, it is for the love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the offenses committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Decad Prayer. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. Heart of Jesus, we adore you. Heart of Mary, we implore you. Heart of Joseph, pure and just, in these three hearts we place our trust. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.
Copies of the Regina Celli are in the pews and in the missalettes. Please rise for the Regina Celli. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. Has risen as he said, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We begin the holy sacrifice of the Mass with our opening hymn, number 237, at the Lamb's High Feast. Hymn number 237. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Though we're not quite ready to go upstairs yet. My apologies. So it's the number one question here at the shrine. Uh, are we going upstairs? So eventually. So but my friends, another Easter Sunday, a beautiful day. It's going to be beautiful and the flowers are just all. Oh. So welcome, my friends. Welcome. As we now prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you have handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the holy and righteous one and ask that a murderer be released to you, the author of life you put to death. But God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you here anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon and welcome. May the Lord give you his peace. Amen. Amen. It's a little warm, huh? <laughs> so there are people sitting in the, the chairs upstairs as well. We have speakers up there so you can hear me up there. So if you're up there, um, don't forget to come down for Holy Communion at that part of the Mass, okay? Um, so there's a, a number of young people here today. I want to say hello to all the young people. So good to see you. Um, would it be okay if I directed my homily to the young people? So I just remember being a kid, sometimes going to church. My family wasn't that religious. I'm, we'd go to Mass, and the priest would be like, blah, 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 blah. It's like, as a kid, right? So I, I, want, these, I want to speak to these children. 
um, the main point of the readings today are so good, and it's this. It's real. It's real. The realness of the resurrection of Jesus. This is what's being emphasized. He's not a ghost. He has flesh and bones. See me, touch me, give me some fish to eat. He is a body. The realness of the resurrection, that's what's being emphasized here. This is not some mirage or hallucination or, or any sort of hoax. It's so real. That's the main point. The realness of what we're celebrating here. And this is what the readings are pointing us to. And to kind of look at that topic from a different perspective, I have two stories to tell you. One of which is kind of crazy. The other one's really crazy. Okay. <laughs> So stick with me, but this is for the kids, okay? So I have this memory. In 1994, I was in college, and I got to go and study in a, a study abroad program. So my school had a campus in Austria. That's in Europe. And, you know, I had been growing up in small town Indiana. I had barely ever been out of my state of Indiana, never mind out of my country. And so I was kind of excited. And then on the airplane over, I started getting a little afraid to be in a country that's not your own and to be surrounded by things that are so unfamiliar, including the language. It was a little bit panicky, you know? It was like a, you start to feel a little uncertain, a little uncomfortable. I remember going to the grocery store and everybody speaking German, and I, I didn't know what to do. It was like a little intimidating. And so I had this experience of being out in a different country, a different culture, a different language. Things were just unfamiliar. And I remember feeling a, a little uncertain. Now, keep in mind, this is the day before the internet, before cell phones. You were just, you were stuck. You were there. I had this little book. And in the book, there was a little chapter on each country of Europe. <laughs> so that's all you had. And um, we had classes Monday through Thursday. So Every weekend we could travel. I went to 13 different countries that semester. And I remember feeling in the beginning, especially so uncomfortable. All right. So my friends and I went to a country called Czech Republic. Now, is anyone here from the Czech Republic? Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody. Okay. So we get to this country, Czech Republic. I do not speak the language. The capital is a city called Prague. And in the city of Prague, they have a very famous statue of the Bambino Jesu, the little baby Jesus. So we're like, let's go there and see him, you know? And we started asking all the people in Prague and they, they had no idea what we were talking about. It was like, where is this church? So we finally found the church, and it's amazing. He's like the baby doll Jesus. All the ladies like to put dresses on him and all this stuff. Okay. And so we were there. Now, one of my friends, who's a little bit crazy, had this idea. Why don't we get out of the touristy areas? Let's go to the outskirts. We can really find something authentic. Because in Czech Republic, they're very much known for their beer. So I knew that word, pivo. Okay, that's the original Budweiser. It comes from Czech Republic. Okay, so we get on this bus and we travel for an hour. So now we're out of the touristy area and we see what looks like a diner. So we hop off of the bus and we go in there and it, we sit down and it's like, oh boy, you look at the menu, you have no idea what it means. No idea. And so I opened this book that I had and it had a little bit of vocabulary for Czech Republic. And it's, we're devout Catholics, right? We're young men, we're Catholic. It's a Friday during Lent. And so we're like, oh, we can't eat meat on a Friday during Lent. What are we going to do? So I see these words in this vocabulary list, and I say to the waitress, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> you know, like, please, no meat or whatever. She had this horrified look on her face, and I was like, uh-oh, maybe I pronounce it. I just look at it again, yum, 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 yum. And she was like, surprised. And then she motions to me like this, give me a minute, I'm going to call somebody. It's like, okay, so she calls, and here comes this guy who speaks English. So now he's going to translate for us. And so the, at this point, the whole restaurant is around these crazy American teenagers, you know. And so this guy starts translating, and he starts laughing. The words in my, my vocabulary list, the words were incorrect. They were wrong. What I had said to her was, no human flesh, please. <laughs> <laughs> and 
as if we had heard, you all are cannibals over here. We're, we don't want any human flesh. It's a Friday during Lent. Okay, maybe on Sunday, we'll try that, okay. No, 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 no. And so, you, you just can't make this up. You know, so the whole restaurant's laughing, and then they bought our dinner, and, and, and then there was all this beer. I don't remember the rest, okay. Um, but but he, here's, here's what I learned that my experience over there is that, you know, in the midst of that experience of being out of my country, being out of my comfort zone, feeling uncomfortable, in every country we would go to, there was a McDonald's. And I came to just love McDonald's because we started calling it the American Embassy. You know, and it's odd, but it's true. When I was a little kid, we, we would always go to McDonald's on our birthday. Anyone else go to McDonald's on their birthday? Papa's fritas, french fries, okay. And so for me, I just had this, mo this memory of comfort. And so when I was in these countries where I felt so uncomfortable and so, there was a little touch of home, a little something that was familiar. We could go in there and the hamburgers and french fries tasted the same and it, it kind of became a consolation, you know? And so I you know, just had these positive memories of McDonald's. And uh, to this day, I still love it there, but obviously I can't eat there as much as I would like. Um, I may have gotten some McDonald's gift cards for my birthday the other day. Okay, the word got out. Um, okay, so that's my first story. Now, the second story is a little crazier. Okay, that story was just a setup. Um, so just to start by saying, obviously, we're, we're all praying for the Holy Land right now, right? We're not sure what's gonna happen. It's a lot of trouble over there. So we pray. At Fatima, Mother Mary told us prayer can stop war. Prayer can bring peace. So it's so good that you're here. We need to be praying. All right, so this story comes from the Holy Land. So if you've ever heard me preach before, I almost always mention pilgrimage to the Holy Land. I just had such a great experience being over there, the land of the Bible, seeing the, th the places where Jesus was. And one of the most beautiful places in the Holy Land is the Sea of Galilee. Really, it's a big lake, the Lake of Galilee. And so many things in Jesus's life happened around there. And one of the things you do on pilgrimage is you go on a boat and you go to the middle of this lake, it's a big lake, turn off the motor, we get out our Bibles, and we start reading the stories from Jesus's life of things that happened on that lake. And it's so beautiful. That part of the, uh, the Holy Land is still kind of undeveloped right now. And so what you see, you're like, oh, this is what it kind of looked like when Jesus was here. And you hear about that story when Jesus cast the demons into the pigs and they went down and drowned themselves. It's like that happened over there. And you look over there, whoa, that's where it happened. And then when you hear Jesus multiplying the loaves and the fishes, that happened right over there. And there's a little church where Jesus, you know, and so all of these things that we know so well from the Bible, you're seeing the places where they happened. And then, it, and then something happened. One of the pilgrims looked over here and over here on the shore is a McDonald's. <laughs> And the, the pilgrims were so disedified, like, oh no, look, there's a McDonald's here. Ah, it's ruining the mojo. You know, like there was no McDonald's in the Bible. Okay. And so the pilgrims were kind of complaining like, oh, that's terrible. Don't look over there, you know. But my friends, for me, I had a different experience. I look over there and now you know a little bit of my story. Um, McDonald's is a place of great comfort and great memories from my childhood when I was a little kid. So I look over there and I see that McDonald's and I felt so moved. And it really surprised me. Kind of what we prayed in Psalm today, Psalm 4, Lord, let your face shine upon us. I had an experience of Jesus smiling upon me in that moment. And here's what happened. I look over now, obviously, we're in the Holy Land. We're on pilgrimage. We're on the Lake of Galilee. And then we're hearing these stories from the life of Jesus. And then I turn and I see this almost like icon of the modern world, right? The golden arches. You know what that stands for, right? Mmm. Okay. Mmm. And I see that. 
And in my mind, I had this funny thought, which I want to share with you. It occurred to me, because our Lord Jesus is true man, also true God, He is God. I wondered, could there have been a moment when Jesus was there on the lake, and in His divinity, He would have known, oh, 2,000 years in the future, there's going to be a McDonald's there? And He knew that there would be this crazy priest who would come on pilgrimage, who would see the McDonald's, and who would be so consoled. And in my imagination, I see the face of Jesus thinking about that and smiling. And he smiled at me. And my friends, I share that story because that moment is so particular to me. This is a way that Jesus could speak to me that would have a lot of meaning for me because of who I am, because of my background. And it just, it was one of those moments where I knew that the Lord was real and that he knew me and that he cared for me personally. And now you know. (laughs) But so let's come back to what's being said in the gospel here. And you know, in a world today with so many people, especially young people, are growing up in everything that's not real. The stupid internet, apps, smartphones, sports, movies, video games, like none of that is real. It's all fake. In the midst of growing up in a culture that we're so surrounded by what's not real, what is so refreshing and beautiful is when we come to church, we come to Holy Mass, and Jesus comes to us, this is the most real thing you can ever encounter. And it began at the resurrection, and it's still happening now. They recognized him in the breaking of the bread. And all of these stories, when the risen Jesus appeared to the apostles, it was the first day of the week and they were gathered together. They were at mass. So it was in the context of the liturgy of the mass when the risen Jesus came to them and they recognized him in the breaking of the bread. That was the earliest name for the mass. Before it was being called the mass, it was being called the breaking of the bread. And so my friends, we're here today This story of the resurrection isn't just something from the past. It's not just a curious page in a history book. No, the risen Jesus is alive and real even now. And we don't have to go to the Lake of Galilee where Jesus, by the way, the risen Jesus cooked a fish breakfast. Remember that story? Just like the risen Jesus eats some cooked fish in this story. So you know I had, when the boat got over there, I had to go to that McDonald's and I got a filet of fish you know, I felt like I was in the Bible, you know. I know I look like I'm from the Bible, okay. But it, it was like a way that kind of pulled it together for me. But my friends, not to be silly, but that's what's happening at the Mass, the Holy Eucharist, the breaking of the bread, the opening of the Scriptures that our hearts could burn within us, that this stuff is real. It's not fake. It's not virtual. It's not a fairy tale. It's not a hallucination. It's real. The risen Jesus is alive, and we, in, the na- in his name, have the forgiveness of sin and the offer of eternal life. The forgiveness of sin and the offer of, frater- of eternal life. And so we thank the Lord on this day. We're surrounded by so much beauty in nature. We're surrounded by signs of the resurrection signs of the resurrection that this is real and that it's not just something from the past but it's here and now especially when we go to holy mass amen Amen. let us stand thanksgiving for the gift of our faith together let us profess the creed i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things are made, for us men and for our salvation, to give down from men, for the Bible of the Holy Spirit, 
was incarnate with the Virgin Mary, entered the man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Trusting in the power of the risen Christ, let us bring our needs to God this day. For all church leaders, may the Lord guide them in caring for the physical and spiritual needs of those they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our for civic leaders, may the Lord grant them fortitude in defending the dignity and sanctity of all life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our for all who are struggling in their faith, May they be strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the Holy Spirit renew us in the hope of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that God's peace may come to war-torn areas. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rest in eternal peace with our Heavenly Father. We remember especially John and Bridget Orlowski, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of hope, receive these prayers we offer you today. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We prepare for the liturgy of the Eucharist with hymn number 233, Alleluia, sing to Jesus, hymn number 233.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good of all the Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right in us. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
body. Hymn number 386, 386. and 
blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright, gentle mother. us wisdom, teach us love. You were chosen by the Father. You were chosen for the Son. strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. A few announcements before we go our ways. Um, so many beautiful and wonderful things now that the weather is warming up here at Our Lady Shrine. We're encouraging everyone who comes here to follow the Shrine on either Instagram or Facebook or keep an eye on the Shrine calendar page on our website. That's bluearmyshrine.com. So many wonderful, beautiful, amazing things. In uh, May, leading up to the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima, we do a novena. So Our Lady of Fatima, Novena for Mothers, we are accepting intentions for that novena now. So on the table inside the doors or on our website, you'll see this flyer. You can submit the names of your loved ones, living or deceased. Those names will be placed in this altar and for nine days of prayer and masses, these intentions will be prayed for. So it's very beautiful. And then um, lastly, as the weather gets warmer, we're getting ready to put out the appeal for volunteers those of you who come here somewhat regularly, there's so many beautiful opportunities to also help serve the pilgrims who come here. If you're interested in volunteering in any way, get a hold of myself. I'm Father Luke. I'm the chaplain. You can contact me through our website. There's an email address and phone number there, bluearmyshrine.com. And thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. 
Saint Michael, the Archangel, be our protection. We praise our God with our recessional hymn number 236, Christ the Lord is Risen Today, hymn number 236. <laughs> 